Today we're looking at our six inches deep by three inches in diameter cylinder mold. And this is a very thick mold, as you can see, um, which presents some challenges with demolding, which we're gonna see at the end of the video. And there's a couple of tips and tricks I wanna show you to get this thing out because you do not want to bend it all the way down. You're gonna tear the mold. So it's very important that you understand how to properly demold deep items in thick molds. But in this video, we're gonna be showing you how to use this mold to use it with wood and resin. If you are just gonna be pouring resin in there and you wanna make you know some funky resin design, you can literally just mix your deep pour resin, pour it in there, do your swirling, put your pieces in there. What do you want to do? Uh, and it's done. But in this video, we're going to be mixing media. We're going to be using wood, an object, and resin. Because in this particular mold, it's really good for making uh, sculptures or dioramas. You can actually make you know, a solid light base with this mold. So if you actually uh, make a base, or rather make this mold in your piece and then light it from underneath to make a lamp or a light, uh, or something called a monolith, which is literally just a big weight um, for artistic purposes. Um, but again, in this video, like I said, I'm going to be using uh, resin, wood, and an object. So you've probably heard of the sword and stone. You've probably seen, uh, there's a video or at least some pictures online of a guy that made like a, a little teeny sword and a little teeny stone glued together and poured in resin to make a, an object like that. Um, I don't have any little swords here. I don't have any stones here. I've got live edge wood and I've got an X-Acto knife. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a utility knife in the wood and uh, make our, our sculpture or our art piece that way. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and used my three inch uh, hole saw and you can get these at a local hardware store or Amazon, wherever, which is perfect because it's actually three inches to the outer diameter of this hole saw, um, which means when you drill in, the piece that you take out is gonna be a little less than three inches, which is perfect because this is exactly three inches. So when you have a little bit less than three inches, it's gonna slide in really nicely and you're gonna get a really thin uh, coat of resin on the outside once you pour it. So the perfect, uh, the whole saw is perfect for that. I use some uh, wormy maple, uh, live edge wormy maple, and I've taken a couple of pores, samples, if you will. So I've got two here. You can see they've got the, the drill hole in them. I'm gonna use this one, because uh, I don't know, it looked like a cool one to use. My sword going into my stone, like so. Put it this way. There you go. Actually, I want to go this way. All right. So now we've got our sword and our stone. And this whole thing, we're going to drop right into the mold. Now, before I do that, I just want to say, I already sprayed the interior of the mold with uh, the 8329 epoxy release from MG Chemicals. You can use a Smooth On product, Smooth On uh, Smoothies or Smooth Release 200. There's a, as long as it's a non-silicone based mold release, you don't want to spray silicone into a silicone mold because it can actually bond with the mold and get crusty and it won't be very good. So you want to use a proper mold release. We do refer to the releases we recommend on our website under our facts section at craftedelements.com. Um, but again, I've already sprayed that, it's already dried, so I'm good. Now this I'm going to do in two different pours. Why am I doing two different pours? Well, um, there's not an easy way to weigh the wood down from floating up um, once they put the wood in and the object in. So I'm going to do an initial pour of resin just to fill the base of the mold with the wood and encase the uh, knife, the utility knife, onto the piece of wood. Now again, if you're just using this mold for resin, you don't need to do any of this. You can literally mix your resin as you would, pour it in, let it set, and then demold it. Um, but anyway, here we go. So I've got my sword in my stone, sliding it right in there. The sword came out, but that's okay. I'm gonna put it right back in there. Okay, it's in there. Reduce the height so it's not any taller than the mold. All right, so it's in there. Let's see if I can take the camera over here. Whoa. All right, so we've got our object in our mold and we're gonna tape some resin. In this case, it doesn't matter if it's deep pour resin or, or regular casting resin. This is a regular casting resin. And we're just gonna pour it over a little bit. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna do, once it's set, it's going to encase the, um, the wood at the bottom of the mold just enough 
that when we put the rest of the resin in, the whole thing's not gonna float up to the top and have our piece ruined. Um, there's a lot of people that will use like little micro machine figures, like Star Wars figures and, you know, little action figures. You can totally do that if you, if you glue them, so for example, there's a piece, whether it be a rock or wood or whatever, you can glue those figures with hot glue or epoxy on first and then put the entire thing in and then cover the entire thing. A lot of different things you can do with this mold, which is really cool, which is why I love it so much because, well, I mean, once you, once you take it out, you'll see, and uh, I'm gonna show you how to demold that uh, after the next pour in the last part of the video. Stay tuned. Okay, we're back the next day with the cylinder sword and the stone project. Gone ahead and mixed some more resin. And this is clear, but what I've done is I've just put a little bit of a couple of drops of alcohol pigment in there and just give it a very, very light stir. And you can see it's kind of suspended in the liquid and that'll just give it uh, hopefully some interesting texture instead of just being a big clear uh, column. Right up to the top there. Perfect. We'll get rid of all those bubbles with our torch and uh, come back the next day and demold it. Okay, we're back and our resin is set. However, I made a silly mistake of accidentally pouring uh, regular casting resin, not deep pour. If you recall at the beginning of this video, I made sure to tell you that using a deep mold like this, you need deep pour resin. Um, for whatever reason, I was doing a bunch of different pours at the same time, and I poured uh, regular casting resin, which is really only good for an inch, inch and a half, not four inches. So we got a lot of bubbles and a little bit of an uneven texture in the top, but the project is still the same. The entire point was to demonstrate how this mold works and how to demold it and kind of give you ideas. So it's still valid. It just got a lot more bubbles than a, a properly done deep pour uh, resin pour would do. So anyway, what I told you at the beginning of the video was there was a trick to these because these are so thick you can't just, you know, they're not like the cheap, you know, super thin molds where you can just like peel them back. You can't physically peel this back and if you try, um, you're probably going to rip it. So the trick is to actually use distilled water and you want to get a little bit of distilled water. You can even use like a plastic syringe um, and then just kind of go around all the inside, like pull the silicone away from your model. Um, or your, your cast and then pour it inside. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. And that will make the, the demolding process with something like this where it's super thick uh, and super deep much easier. And you're just gonna work the water around uh, the casting. Probably wanna have paper towel in place as well. And that's going to essentially in, like lubricate the interior of the mold. So you can kind of just pop it out just like that. You can see if you've ever fought with a big item in a tall mold before, where you like literally trying to beat the snot out of it, trying to get it out, you can see this, this is much, much easier. You just have to kind of fight the, uh, the air pocket inside. Wah! And there you go. We can give it a quick sand, polish it up, and we'll have our bubbly, but still cool, X-Acto knife in the stone. Thanks for watching. If you need to shop any of our molds, check stock or get on a notification list, you can head over to craftedelements.com now. See you soon.